Hi, hello, I'm so excited that you are here for this training, for this mini training on the heart and the heart space and for learning more about how you can use it, but predominantly as well, getting really clear on why the heart as this beautiful energy center that we all have is so important, especially right now. So if you're new to this channel, please let me know that you're here and post a comment below and subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you. Also click the bell button. This will ensure that you get a notification every time I upload a new training, which I aim to do about three times per week. So there's lots of amazing free trainings and content and helpful information coming your way if you're a part of the community. So back into the topic of the heart. Now, the heart is a space that is often talked about. And oftentimes we talk about the heart when the heart is wounded and when we feel pain in the heart. And that's usually sometimes what we feel when we start to drop into the heart space. And this is why um, a lot of people have a little bit of resistance going there as well. Okay, when I started channeling and teaching a lot of information around the heart and how to access it, there was in the very beginning, there was a lot of information coming through about like healing the wounded heart. I still remember I was doing workshops um, in my in my Facebook group, Energy Masters. Um, if you're not part of it, hop over. There's um, a link below this video where you can find it's a free group on Facebook. It's really beautiful. And I did a workshop in there. Um, it was about two years ago. And again, there was a lot of like the wounded heart energy coming through. And it was um, channeled through Mary Magdalene. She was helping me with that and to deliver it and bring the content and what's really important. Um, and yeah, again, it was a lot about like healing the wounded heart, how to heal the wounded heart and how to go about that and how to access the heart space without a constantly kind of like going onto this block and then kind of like shying away from it. Okay. And then she also taught me so many really amazing things about the heart and why the heart space is so, so, so important. And then also for like from other sources and from, from my own experience um, and, and implementation, I learned so much. And so this is a video where I really want to kind of like condense some of this information and summarize it and bring you a few tips how to how you can go about it and really connect with that space. Because you probably have heard that all of us are very, very stuck predominantly most of the time in the headspace, okay? And what that does is we get overexcited but by everything that is kind of like mental, that analytical, that rational activity, that overthinking. Now, the mind is a very powerful tool, okay? Like mental energy, thought energy is really, really powerful for manifesting. And um, at the end, I, as usual, I'll link my manifestation playlist where we talk a little bit more about that. So um, there, there's loads of videos by now around manifestation, using your thoughts and mindset and all of these kind of things, um, amongst other stuff. So go out and check that in the end. But um, again, the, the mind space is really important and we can use the mind space for a lot of really good stuff. But for, for the most part, we overuse the mind and we use it in ways in which the mind is actually not assigned to, um, to function and to work simply because we have gone out of the heart space and more up into the head space. And so what I see a lot of people um, being kind of like suffering from or yeah, just being suffering from is the um the overactive mind that leads to anxiety because people are stuck in this constant loop this constant overthinking this constant energy that then turns in worry that turns into doubt doubting yourself doubting doubting life and not being in the trusting space anymore the the heart is a space of trust a very deep 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 space of true foundational grounded trust that's kind of like what's coming through right now 
And um, it is a very beautiful place for you to relax into so that the mind and its overactivity gets a chance to relax. And at the end of the video, we're going to go into that. Okay, so stay till the end of the video because we are going to show you a little bit of a practice and how to do that. So the other thing is that it is really important for us to understand that we are asked it is our responsibility during this time to practice discernment true discernment and there are many 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 layers and stages and degrees and you know areas of discernment but it's really like the discernment of what truly resonates with you the discernment of what truly your soul essence is what do you truly stand for? What do you truly feel attracted to? Because the truth is, there is so much information floating about on social media, on all of the platforms, on the web, in our workplaces, in our families. So we are very conditioned in so many ways. And I know, and I know, don't go, I won't go into the exact ways in which we're conditioned. That's probably going to be a different video. So you can be a little bit more aware of that. But we are very much attuned, like artificially attuned by marketing, by TV, by everything that's floating around on the internet, by social media. And it's kind of like attuning us to be focusing on the stuff that, you know, that other people want us to do or to buy or to, to, to desire. Okay. And it's very easy in that loop, in that spiral that's being perpetuated out there, this outside stuff. It's very sometimes challenging to kind of like be in your center and actually feel yourself and feel what's true for you what you truly want what you truly desire what's truly good for you your soul's path your purpose what lights you up what truly truly resonates on a very deep level deep within here and this is where the heart space is your biggest ally, okay? Because it gets you away from all of that conditioned stuff and it gets you into what you actually truly want, okay? And, it's, and I've, I've seen that so many times in myself and it's you really sometimes have to work in actually getting yourself there. I remember I did a manifestation course once um, and in the beginning, we were asked to very, very spontaneously jot down on a piece of paper what we act, what we want. Okay, what what do what what do we want to manifest? And I kept doing this exercise, and I kept getting car. I already had a car. I had bought a car probably a year or two prior. I really didn't need one, and this car came, like the car came kept up, uh, kept coming up. And I really did, I knew in the depth of my heart, I did not want another car, I did not need another car, I couldn't be bothered about owning another car, or selling the current one and getting a new one, I'm, I'm not a car person, <laughs> okay, nothing, like, nothing wrong with cars, so I just didn't want one, so I was like, why is that coming up? And then I realized, oh, because the entire community that I did it with and the person I did it with, they were all very focused on cars and, you know, this is my car and oh my God, and it's so beautiful. And they were like really beautiful cars, but I just didn't want one. But all like seeing all of the pictures and seeing all of the, the, the like hearing all of the, the, um, the manifestation work people did around cars, it kind of like it gets into your subconscious mind. So everything that we soak up subconsciously and we constantly soak up sub, like things on a subconscious level it starts to ingrain in our being okay and sometimes we need to cleanse a little bit to actually get to down to the real heart and what we actually want and then I realized it's like I don't want a car <laughs> it's so clear and it's fine and I have one and I'm totally happy with the one that I have and I don't I don't need to manifest another one and it really helped me then to realize actually again how deep this conditioning goes and a lot of the times this conditioning is not even like it's not wanted or manipulated by people sometimes it is but a lot of the times it isn't it's just kind of like what we keep absorbing on a daily basis and what like the people around us want and what society thinks we want we should want okay so that's one very very 
important step and that brings us also into manifestation because it's very important to get clear on what we truly want from the hard place because there can be a lot of karmic re, um, repercussions as well if we just kind of like blindly go about manifesting and then everything gets really distorted like I'm not for that I like this is not you know what I teach and I speak a little bit more about and um, these things and I have a new video coming up about really conscious manifesting as well so um, look for that it will come up in the next few days but where the heart space again comes in with that because again the heart space is so important for so many different things and for so many different things that so many people try to work on but because they forget the heart space they then get into these distorted misguided places and then it's like things are either a chore or they don't feel aligned or they don't feel good or they don't have the outcomes they desire and that's what this video also um, aims at like helping you to clear up all of that debris a little bit and to get more clarity and the heart is the space of clarity okay the heart holds so much clarifying potential if you're just willing to listen to it if you're just willing to use it at that and what I have learned from Mary Magdalene specifically and the goddesses and like and also my own kind of like experiences is, is that the heart is this really powerful tool um, for navigation. It is literally a navigation tool. Because everyone thinks about the heart as love and opening up and fluffy. And like even when I was bringing out all of these workshops in, I think it was 2018 in my, in my Facebook group, um, like one colleague, a, a friend actually said to me, oh, this is like, this is a little bit fluffy. Um, and then it hurt me a little bit because I felt this information is really, 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 really important. And then I had to do some recovery work around that, whereas actually people's notion of the hard place is a little bit of a distorted one because people think, oh, it's this, again, like it's this fluffy place. And then therefore all of the teachings around the heart, they must be fluffy and like about romance or twin flame or old wounds, or all of that stuff. And, and really it's, yes, it is about that, but it is about so much more. And especially in these times, we need the guidance from the heart. And I really, like I'm saying that now, you know, with this choking about like the fluffiness of how we can perceive it, but actually it's quite serious. It's quite important, okay? And I'm not here to instill fear or any, any of that kind of stuff. I want to keep it light and open and heart connected. Um, and, but really the, the, the heart is this powerful compass mechanism that we have, but it lies bare because we are not taught to use it. And this is why I'm starting this conversation and a lot of other really amazing leaders are starting this conversation around the heart and how important it really is, not just for heart healing, not just for like around the heart chakra and, 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 and those teachings. And those are really powerful as well and clearing the heart and all of that. But we need the heart as a tool. And like, just look around right now. We are in June 2020 um, as I'm recording this video and you know that there's tons of stuff going out uh, going on in the world okay and there's so much turmoil and so much craziness and when there is so much wild stuff going on around us in the 3d reality or in our perceived reality then there are so many so many narratives as well there's so many stories and narrations and viewpoints and perspectives being thrown around in the online space and in real life when we're in conversation with people or even when we listen to the news and we are really at a point where we need to have that heart discernment activated where we have to have an activated heart chakra, an activated heart channel and heart space that can lead us through all of these narratives, finding an aligned path and keeping us on this aligned path. And I have learned a lot of lessons of being on this aligned path and not being on that aligned path, okay? That doesn't mean when we're not on it, like everything goes to you know, it goes down or anything like that, but life just gets very, very hard and difficult and dis distractive and, um, and misaligned 
when we're not really on that hard path. And again, things have been heating up over the last few years. And especially now, we're in this quickening when everything gets quicker and quicker and quicker. And there's more and more news coming out and fake news and narratives and all of these things and opinions. Like, it's difficult to work through all of that stuff and process it. Okay. Um, I've heard so many people in my Facebook group say, like, I really feel overwhelmed, like, there's so much going on, it's so difficult to keep track and to keep aligned and to keep focused, and the heart is, again, it's your biggest ally in that, when you you can tap into the heart space and be there, have part of your awareness, of your focus, of your attention, rest there in your heart space, you are anchored into your truth automatically. Because the heart is literally your navigation tool through the universe. If you kind of like collapse or like clap together our seven chakras, like boom, (laughs) like the heart is the middle point, it's the linking point, it's this anchor between the lower and the upper chakras. It is so important. And like beyond those seven chakras, there are more obviously, but we're not going to go into that, that totally different topic in video. But it's really important to see this connection place. And again, it's the navi- it's a navigation tool through the universe, through earth information, through the narratives, through what's going on right now, and where we need to stand in our truth, in our heart truth. And when we're anchored into that, then it is not so much about the mind activity. Oh my God, how do I figure it out? How do I know which way to go, which path to take? It gets so much more easy and clear. It's like when we're in the heart space, it's like there is this this blinding tunnel that's being taken away. It's, It's kind of like it's pushed away. And I had quite a few heart activations kind of like energetically that took place subconsciously or unexpectedly in the past and it's literally this every time I feel it's it's like this huge grand opening it's a huge opening where from where you start to see from a much higher place which is much grander much bigger perspective that is so much more helpful in navigating all of the things that you need to navigate because things are happening in our personal lives there's a lot of shifts in our personal lives and when there's a lot of shifts in our internal alchemy and energy and in our personal lives then inevitably that's also reflected outside of us and it can be really confusing making sense of it all okay so it's the heart space and how do you tap into the heart space well There are many, many, many practices and I teach a lot of them in my courses and programs. Some of them are down in the um, in the section where you can find a lot of my programs and self-study courses and materials. And but, you know, the, the place to start is setting the intention and you can close your eyes for this and just come back into your internal space. And bring your energy inside instead of like being out there trying to figuring it out with a head and having this big stream of mind activity going forward. Almost like if you can view it psychically or clairvoyant, you usually see like oh, all of this stuff coming out here. Some of it at least. So just focus on everything aligning inside, down into the heart. Aligning it down into the heart space. And just feel into that chest space, like into the physical. You can start, and that's the most easy thing to do to connect with the heart space. Like, find the place where your physical center of your chest is. And just feel into that space. And feel a little bit of like, if there's like a heavy weight pulling down. And that heavy weight, it's not like it's bad or it's heavy or dark or anything like that. It's just like... You're rooted down in your heart, and it's like, ooh, it's grounding you down even further. It's so powerful. And it's something that when you first try it, you might not directly feel it. It's a little bit of a muscle that you need to practice. And I've been like teaching about this on end in all of my energy courses, or like a lot of my courses, I'm teaching this, really connecting with this space and feeling into it. 
And then when you go out into your daily life, allowing that at least a tiny part of your awareness remains there. But you have, because you're multidimensional, you have the, the ability to have the focus on the heart space, but still talk with someone. So what you could do practicing this even more, so, you know, giving me, giving you more of tips how to use this and how to practice that and how to expand that space and that energy that you hold there is to, again, do the practice that I told you, coming inside, bring it down, feeling like almost like this little heavy weight or a little heavy pendulum, like around your heart space, again, in a, in a positive way, right? But this, it's this grounding weight. It's a grounding weight. It's a positive weight. Mm, it feels so good when I, like I can in immediately now tap into it when I bring my awareness to that. And it completely changes the energy. Can you feel it? Because what it does is it puts you into the eye, into the center of the hurricane or the tornado around you. It, it puts you, it brings you into the center of the storm. Where, you, where there's stillness, where, the, where there's clarity, even if there's tons of confusion swirling around outside, but you're in this clear space of Sen, this light space, this bright space, where you have all the compasses, all the GPRs, all the navi navigation tools that you could ever possibly need. And from there, you listen. You can also ask questions. That's another topic. That's another course. <laughs> but that's the space you want to be in. That space of imperturbability, of nothing can mess with you. And again, it's practice. It's commitment to being in that space and reminding yourself and, and practicing that muscle. And that's one of the main things that we need right now. If you're so confused about all the things that are going on right now and all the sense making and, you know, of course there are loads of good, you know, sources out there that can help you. But one of your, like your inner main practices, I would, I would recommend let that be one of your main practices. To access you directly to your heart space, to the seed of your wisdom. And that grants you access to the whole universe okay very powerful so let me know how you like this video let me know what stood out for you let me know how you want to use the information presented or like go ahead and try this little practice it's not like meditation although you can use it as a meditation you can use it so many times during the day Keep bringing it back into your heart, feeling that light pendulum, that light, that light weight in there, this grounding force in your heart space. And then you feel automatically, this is how you get out of the out of the mind. This is how you get out of all of the chatter that is going on. This is how you get out of all of the looping thoughts. Oh no, what should I do? I don't have the money or I need this, but I can't get to it. Or like, what's going on? I feel so lost. All of that stuff. Touch into your heart space, ground into it, and feel yourself in the stillness, in this space of imperturbability, of nothing can rock you or shock you or get you off your, your track, your soul path. Anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions around this. Um, again, there are a lot of courses down below. There's also a free course called The Energy Matrix where I teach a little bit around that as well. And there are five master, five free masterclasses in there. There are self-study courses down there um, and links to all of my channels on Instagram and Facebook. And I would love to connect with you there. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, um, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell button. And um, next up will be a video about conscious manifestation. There will also be a video about how to distinguish between trigger and intuition. Okay, because that's a huge one as well. Anyways, I'm sending you so much love and have a wonderful rest of your day.